Armenian Foreign Minister Arat Mirzoyan met today with the newly appointed Russian co-chair of the OSC Minsk Group, Igor Khovaev. They discussed a wide range of issues related to the settlement of the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict, emphasizing the importance of resuming the peace process under the auspices of the Minsk Group. Later in the day, Khovaev met with Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan. Armenian National Assembly Deputy Speaker Hakop Arshakyan met today with Andrei Klimov, a top-ranking Russian politician and a top member of Russia's ruling One Russia Party. Arshakyan said Azerbaijan is not fulfilling its November 9, 2020 con commitments to return Armenian prisoners of war and other captives. He also said the ruling civil contract party is interested in expanding long-term cooperation with the One Russia Party. Former President Serge Sarkisian's attorney, Amram Makinyan, has filed a lawsuit against National Assembly member Khachatur Sukasian demanding a re refute of the information discrediting Serge Sarkisian. Makinyan said they demand that Sukasian refute the claims he had made from the floor of the National Assembly. Armenia's Constitutional Court has accepted for hearing the lawsuit filed by the opposition factions of the National Assembly to challenge the constitutionality of the decision on the election of National Assembly Speaker Alen Simonyan. The Taliban has claimed victory in Panjir, the last remaining Afghan province held by the opposition, but resistant soldiers have vowed to fight on against the militant group, BBC reported. A white flag of the Islamic Emirate was reported to have been hoisted on the Panjir governor's office, but the resistance fighters rebuffed the claims, insisting they were still present in all strategic positions and continued to fight for the region. Belarus jailed key opposition leader Maria Kalesnikova for 11 years, intensifying a crackdown on pro-democracy activities. She was convicted of conspiracy to seize power and of leadership of an extremist organization at a closed court hearing in the capital Minsk on Monday. Maxim Znak, a lawyer who worked in the opposition campaign to challenge Lukashenko at last year's presidential elections, was sentenced to 10 years on the same charges. More than 300,000 vaccinations have been carried out against COVID-19 as of September 5. Two-thirds of them are first doses and the rest are second doses, the Ministry of Health said. 239 new COVID-19 cases were confirmed in Armenia yesterday. 13 people died. 